Please bend your knees and straighten back up again. That's the movement we are going to improve and that's the movement that will enable you to sit down on a chair and get back up again better, easier, smoother, lighter and more gracefully than most people that you know. So continue with this movement, bend your knees and straighten them again and let the position of your feet adjust to the movements. This probably means that the toes go further apart than the heels, so the heels are closer together than the toes, a little bit like a duck foot stance. And move your knees forwards into the direction of the toes, most likely the second toe and the third toe and let your knees move over your toes. So you bend the knees down and forwards over your toes. You bend in your ankles, in your knees and in your hip joints. And when you come back up, straighten your legs, tighten your legs, tighten your buttocks, tighten your core, square your shoulders, come up as if you would mean it. And then relax back down and bend your knees a little bit and then come back up. Now widen your stance a little bit, bring your feet further apart from each other, a wide stance and continue with this movement. The same technique, drive your knees forwards into the direction of your toes, bend in your hip joints, bend in your knees, bend in your ankles. Relax down and straighten yourself up. And then we have a third position, bring your toes closer to each other and the heels further apart. So the toes are closer to each other than the heels and the heels are further apart than the toes. So when you bend your knees and your hip joints and your ankles, the knees come together and then you straighten back up again. And then a fourth position, have your left foot standing in front of your right foot. And again, go down into your knees and straighten yourself up again. But when you come up, it's like you turn a little bit to the right and bring your weight over your left leg. You go down a little bit like in skiing, a ski racer and come up again. And then a fifth stance, have your right foot in front of your left foot. Go down and go up, go down and go up. And when you come up, you turn a little bit to the left and you bring your weight more over your right foot. And when you go down, you bring your weight a little bit more over your left foot. Just a little bit. And then we will do the same thing with a chair. Please come to stand in front of a chair as close as possible with the back of your knees to the seat without tipping the chair over backwards. And then just like before, bend your knees a little bit and when you go low enough, your behind gently touches down on the seat of the chair and then come back up again. You bend your knees and you land on the front of the chair and if you like, then you can come to sit fully or you shift your weight backwards to lean on the backrest and take a little rest. At first this might seem like a workout but what we are really looking for is a better pathway. And if you find this more ideal better pathway it just feels better, it's smoother, it's lighter, it's easier and more graceful. On my YouTube channel I have many more movement lessons, movement sequences that help you with your daily movement challenges and questions. It is you through your watching and through your support who makes my work as a creator possible. So if you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button. I also have a Patreon account where you can support me directly. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.